Well, it's something parents across the country often warn their kids about. Strangers approaching your child when they're alone. And that's what happened last night in Caldwell twice. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley spoke to one of the mothers whose children experienced this. And he also joins us now with what Caldwell police are saying today. Jude. Caldwell police are investigating two possible reports of child enticement from Thursday night. They happened less than an hour and a half apart. I just think parents need to be hyper aware. Um, it could have been so much worse um, if I wasn't paying attention. Caitlin Kearsley was at Mallard Park with her three boys for a football practice. Her five and eight year old sons left to go to the bathroom together. They know they do not go anywhere alone. They always are paired up with either each other or um, myself. And because I was in visual, I could see that where they're at. Um, they went to the bathroom and after a few minutes, I was like, okay, there's something up. They're usually back by now. She went to find them and saw they were coming back from a gazebo in the park. Earlier, she saw two men in the gazebo and thought nothing of it. I noticed that they were there. Didn't pay huge attention to them. Um, they just looked like everybody else. But when Kearsley caught up with her kids, they say a stranger approached them, but they knew what to do and walked away. Kearsley went to look for the men, but they had taken off in a car. Being from Idaho, I use my Second Amendment and I carry. Um, and I think that kind of freaked them out a little bit and they, they took off. Caldwell police are looking for two men. They both have dark hair, are in their 20s, 5 foot 9, skinny, and both were wearing black. One of the men had a mustache. Less than two hours later, police got a second call about another possible child enticement on East Ash Street. A man in a black car stopped and asked a boy if he wanted candy. After the boy said no, police say the man drove off. Kearsley has advice for parents. Honestly, just know where your kids are and be vigilant and teach them stranger danger, even if it's the smallest thing. And basically just, it, I, I'm an Idaho kid, grew up, grew up raised, born. Um, I remember when we'd go outside and play at dark and there was never really this huge concern with random strangers saying hi or anything. Um, but it's a different world, unfortunately. Now, earlier this month, Boise PD also responded to reports of possible child enticement. Now, both Caitlin and her kids really did everything right here. They were taught about stranger danger, had a buddy system and were within eyesight of their mom. All right. Thanks, Jude. And if anyone knows anything about this, Caldwell Police want to hear from you.